Trexo Tuesday, taking an opportunity just to spike your faith, pour some gasoline on the fire of your intimacy in the Lord, get your hands fixed on what God is doing in your life so that you can be faithful to Him and live out that fuller, greater, richer life of the Lord Jesus Christ that He has for every single one of us. This is the Christmas season. We love the Christmas season. We are celebrating, we're acknowledging, we're commemorating the birth of the Son of God Himself. We're celebrating that God, our Father, in the fullness of time, gave mankind the greatest gift that mankind could ever receive. Talking to my kids about that. My son is 14. My daughter is 12. Obviously, we've been talking to them about the Lord for a long time. But as they get older and getting into those teenage years, I continually remind them that son and daughter, you're going to have to choose in your life and all these different points who it is that you're going to follow. Your mom and I, we made a decision a long time ago that we're going to be followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. But you are going to have to make that decision for yourself. But let me remind you, son, let me remind you, daughter, that every single person follows somebody. Everybody from the beginning of time is following somebody. They may just be following themselves. They may be following a scientific theory that a whole bunch of people have come up with. They may be following a pop culture icon. They may be following a cultural trend. They may be following mom and dad or mom or dad. They may be following some other religious teacher, but son, daughter, everybody follows somebody. It's just a matter of who you choose to follow. Mom and I have chosen to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. When you get older and older, you start to make your own decisions and become increasingly independent. You're going to have to choose for yourself who you're going to follow. The Lord Jesus Christ knew and expected and came to give us leadership so that we would follow him. He was looking for people who would follow him. Listen to what he says in Luke chapter 9, and verse 23. The scripture says, And Jesus was saying to a whole bunch of people who were around him, if anyone wishes to come after me, if anyone wants to follow me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. Jesus intended that we would follow him, but that we would follow him on his terms. And his terms are, if you want to follow me, you have to deny yourself daily and pick up your cross. That means you got to deny your plans. You got to deny your dreams. You got to deny your desires. You got to deny what you want and grab hold of the cross. You got to grab hold of the plans that God, our father has for you. Then he said, then, then you can follow me. Let's be real careful in this Christmas season that we don't embrace a definition of Christianity that limits or just completely does away with following. Let us be careful that we don't embrace the definition of Christianity that says, I'm just going to sit right here, that there's nothing going on. There's no energy in my relationship with Jesus. It's just this static set of things that I believe, but it doesn't affect the direction of my life. We must reject that this Christmas season. Jesus calls us not just to believe in him, but to follow him. And it's in following him that we get to encounter him in all of these different and great and wonderful adventures that God our Father is going to lead us on as we become followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that your Christmas season is powerful. I pray that your Christmas season is a blessing. I pray that the surrounding of family is wonderful and warm. And it is be- and it is that because we are following and experiencing the blessing of what it is to be a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. May he give you all the assurance that you need, all the assurance that you need to follow him every single day of your life. God bless.